We are now on episode 11 of waiting for when does Yozakura get serious. We had a little glimpse of it, but people are still telling me, just bro, just wait. Just You just don't know, bro. Just trust me, trust me. Just a couple more episodes and it's going to get really great. I'm waiting. Let's begin today's reaction. よ、これで遊んだもんだよ。さ、少し休憩したら次の訓練だよ。はい。お疲れ様。ねえ、二人とも見て見て。オルバム。ファミリーアルバム。部屋。おや、懐かしいね。みんな小さくて可愛いでし
this story is not supposed to represent Yozakura's story, right? This is not hinting at what's gonna happen in the future, right? Rip mother. Mom's dead now, right? Hey, do we know how mom died? Do we? Maybe I forgot in the previous episodes, but do we know exactly how mom? It's just not okay. This is probably gonna be plot importance then. That force. たまらなく怖く拡大よ。みんなを守る自信もなく旅られるくらいなら。ああして。ただお化けを怖がってると笑ってくれた。不思議とあんたに。Yeah, <laughs> You know? Still can't get over how big her head shampoo thing is. Thank you. There's no way Tayo fails. And Mutsumi didn't hear any of that. We're playing tag here? Alright, here we go. There's an old man. Holy shit, there's a... Tiny old man over here, still competing. Let's go, old man. Hey, didn't we just have Tag and Tower of God? I mean, he is a literal superhuman. I don't think anyone else is like a superhuman like Tayo, right? God looks like uh, Leo, actually, from Akasic Records that we're watching right now. You're gonna try to collect their bounty? <laughs> I bet that even if this knife landed on Tayo, it wouldn't have done shit. He probably has like superhuman fucking skin now, but I didn't see him. That was so fucking fast. Okay, he uses a fan. Blade's gone too. Just with wind. Your skin looks so. She just said, I like your skin sweaty. I'd love to rub my tongue over it directly. I mean, if you have Porcupine Maid thirsting over Mutsumi like that, then I think we can also have this guy thirsting over Tayo like that if we're gonna talk about, you know, equality. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately points a gun at him. <laughs> Bang to the heart! <laughs> Shoot him. Maybe he'll enjoy it. Number one playboy. Alright, he's kind of like Roots. Okay, wait, okay. No one to flirt with anyone regardless of age or gender. Listen, regardless of gender is fine, but regardless of age, what do you fucking mean? What do you, what do you, hey, age is a long range. Listen, I don't care if you want to fuck guys, girls, do whatever you want. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean regardless of age there? Uh, that's a little bit dangerous, right? <laughs> this means that he prefers Tayo over Mutsumi. He actually thinks Tayo is hotter than Mutsumi right now. This is confirmed. What is that aura from Mutsumi, man? Please. <laughs> Pull that trigger. He probably went in her bathroom too, bro. He probably fucking infiltrated her bathroom, took some fucking hair from the fucking drain, man. He made that doll out of Tayo. Well, this new character has at least made the episode exciting. Uh, sure. Looks to be cooked. King. What's the word for that? Lock picking. That guy literally has Super Saiyan. Not sorry, not Super Saiyan armor. This is Namek armor right now. You see that guy? You see this dude? 
The shoulder pads, that's straight out of fucking Dragon Ball. Man. Smell his hair. <laughs> Smell his hair. It's not a real bomb though, right? Okay, it's just gonna explode them individually. Nice. You're really talented. Okay. Broke down the entire thing. No, they're being graded all. Are they okay? Are they dead? I thought I thought we were cheating with like a drone or something, but no, that that was we were being graded right there. Are we okay? I think we're dead. He's really competent though, huh? Of all the tests, he's just acing it easily. <laughs> you want a massage? You want a massage? Wow, Mr. Mohawk is still in. Mm. It'd be nice if we could just skip to gold. Sleeping. Even if you pass, they could die right now. They're done. Does that mean they just don't pass anymore? It's looking like only two of them are gonna pass. That's pretty impressive. This piece of shit, man. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Hold up. That look of despair also piques me to no end. He's still fucking flirting. He's still saying he likes it when Tayo looks like that. <laughs> Does that mean he pa- <gasps> What about you? What about you? Really? He sacrificed himself so we could get it. That's pretty respectful, oh, yeah. right? Of course. Of course. The bromance gotta continue. Sorry, Mutsumi. We're cheating on you today. Damn, he actually saved him at the end, too. Maybe we'll both fail then? What are we gonna do? You're actually gonna make his heart go doki doki at this rate. He's just a windbender. Asano Tayo. Go Kakuda. Hmm? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? It, it, it sounded like he was a test instructor there. Did I misunderstand this? Why is he saying, like, we passed the test here? Go Kakuda. Was he secretly an instructor? Secret Proctor. What's the most important subject? What, the power to, the spirit of never giving up? What is it? Humanity? For a spy organization where you're going out to assassinate and do all these different killings. You need to be ethical about it. There's this ethical spy. That guy. Yeah. Oh, wait! Grandpa was also a proc. Oh my god. No wonder. That makes a lot more sense. I'm like, yo, this grandpa's fucking still got it. He was a proctor. Look at it. Mohawk? No, you don't get it because you were fucking trying to cheat. Fail. That's so interesting. Because, like, think about if this is Classroom of the Elite. This shit would never fucking happen, right? Because Classroom of the Elite is like, you're here to fucking lie and deceive everyone and basically treat each other like tools and get ahead. I don't care how you do it. Results is everything. In a world of spies, you would think, like, that kind of mentality would still be the same, but then again, this is like a shonen series and they're trying to make an ethical spy and assassination and stuff like that. We should have passed immediately. Exactly. This, this is just protocol. Mm -hmm. If Big Brother Kyochiro has Mutsumi, this guy has Tayo. He's still taking pictures, by the way. I'm most interested in the Crescent Moon Mark here. It must be his organization, his family. We're gonna fucking jump in the water instead. Post credit scene. I thought that he was just in the fucking 
you know, the attics or the pipes in the house making all those noises creeping on us. <laughs> there he is. Was that you the entire yeah, time yeah, in the earlier episode? Stuff. So it was him. In the earlier half of the episode. Scaring Futaba. It was just him. In the fucking house. Of course it was, but was he actually trying to beef with the security? Was he fucking stalking with me? It was actually that obvious. Futaba's <laughs> back? Oh, she was also, uh, he was also making noises through those tools. Got it, got it. I thought he was just like rustling around. <laughs> Those are actual bones being broken. Goriath is on top of Big Bro Kyoshiro right now. For celebratory picture. Bazooka. Woo! Everyone's happy! Bronze. And Nanao, bro, Nanao, if you compare the picture from before and after, he's juiced the fuck up. Somebody fucking test Nanao for PEDs, bro. They, that's not puberty. This is not puberty, bro. He's fucking juiced. The end? Next time, Prison Break Grandpa. Sounds kind of funny, but that's today's episode of Yozakura. What was the important shit going on? Uh, I guess plot-wise, it was meeting that guy with the Crescent Moon. I forgot his name. There's too many fucking names. I'll remember it later on. But he seems to be like part of a different group and organization. Even though he's a proctor, that Crescent Moon is probably an important symbol. And he loves Tayo. Beyond just Yaoi memes, I'm sure there's like a bigger reason. Because he's like the up-and-coming rising star in the spy world. Everyone seems to kind of know Tayo. So he'll probably be an important ally in the future. If not a traitor or some kind of, you know, antagonist out of fucking nowhere. But... Maybe not going that direction. And then the other stuff was with like big big sister Futaba and understanding her motivations and the family and her quirks of being super scared. But that's pretty much it. I'm just still waiting for fucking big sister Shion to just decipher the fucking marble. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.